Hi Silhouetters, it's Doodling Debbie here again with another tutorial on making lattice work. I found a couple of easier ways to do this and I also wanted to include in this tutorial um, not only how to, to do the lattice work but how to put borders on it. So here we go. I have my rectangle here and as you know if you have the Silhouette uh, Studio Designer software this can be done real easily. We're going to go up here to our sketch tool and I'm going to choose the diamond hatch and go to advanced options and I'm going to space these a little larger probably right around three that that looks good okay now that I have this done I want to go into my line tool for um, the, my line style and I'm going to increase the thickness about the same amount um, right around three or uh, no actually I like it larger because it cuts easier so I'm going to do a uh, line thickness of 5.5 there we go okay now that we have this I'm going to make another rectangle and I'm going to for now I'm going to decrease the line thickness while I make this rectangle just a little bit but I want it big enough where you and I can both see it because I this is where it's going to cut out. so I'm going to pay attention to how I'm making my rectangle here that looks pretty good and now I'm going to fill that with some color just for the moment so we'll fill it with a red okay now that you have this you want to take it right click and send this shape to the back and you want to I'm going to move this up out of the way while I do this you can hit control A to select them all or you can use and uh, drag across it to select both the lattice work and the background shape now you want to go to modify and click on subtract there you go now that's what you have now these are going to be all a bunch of little pieces so we want to gather them together by selecting them or you can go I'll click off this to show you control A of course it selected my shape there and I don't want to have that selected that's for later okay now I'm going to go ahead and drag across it and go down here and group this all together okay there we have our lattice work now what I want to do is go back into my line color and I'm going to choose a black and uh, my line size we can reduce that for this video here okay and now I want to go to my fill color because I really don't need to see all this red. If you want to leave it on there, you can, but I'm just going to go back to the plain old white and I just want to be able to see my lattice work. Okay, so there we go. There's our lattice work. Now we're going to make a frame for it. We're going to go back to our line color because I like all my cut lines to be red. I'm going to change it to red again. I'm going to take this and we're going to make a little frame. Here we go. okay that looks pretty good maybe add a little bit more here at the bottom okay now I have my border that I've already selected for this frame and I'm going to go ahead and um, rotate this let's see 90 degrees we're going to start over here on this side I'm going to scale it up a bit and you notice when you scale it up it also gets a little wider but that's okay because we're going to bring it in here and I'm going to nudge it in with my little arrow tools because I'd like about that much of it to show so it's going to be almost bumped right along where this starts here okay now I'm going to go to my replicate tool and I'm going to select mirror right there we go 
and you can drag this over here or you can use your little arrow keys to nudge it along again but I like to use my um, arrow keys but it's just so slow sometimes and for this video tutorial you know I have to speed along and as you can see I'm not exactly lined up here so what I'm going to do is select this and hold down my shift key and select that and I'm going to go here um, to my alignment tool and I'm going to hit align center there we go so that gives us a better little look to it okay now I have these two frames done I want a little border across the top so I'm going to hold down my control key click it to duplicate this one then I'm going to go back up here and rotate it and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise again and if you see if I weld I could probably weld this together over here but what I want is to stretch this out just a bit because I think I'm going to like the way it looks better if I bring these more balanced in here so I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and I'm counting one two three four five six seven okay so I need seven little curls there now I'm going to take my square tool and instead of moving this I think I'm just going to try it this way okay I'm going to select all this end part so I'm going to click on that square I just made click on the border hold down the shift key click on the border I'm going to go back to that modify tool again and hit subtract okay now I can get rid of this little piece because I don't need it on this one here I'm going to have to scoot it up a little bit of course I'm going to be out of my cut line area but for this tutorial that's okay now I'm going to go back to my replicate tool and I'm going to hit mirror below because we need another one for the bottom of this and I'm just going to tuck it down here at the bottom scoots it in just a little bit a little bit more because I want them to look balanced at the top and the bottom okay I'm going to use my arrow key to nudge it over just a tiny bit tiny bit more there we go okay now I'm going to hold down my shift key I have this selected already I'm going to select my next border hold on it looks like okay I'm going to click on this <laughs> hold down my shift key select that border select that border select this border and of course select our large rectangle and then I'm just going to hit the weld ta-da now we have a I'm going to group these all together real quick okay well and scale it so you can get a better look at it and there we go now we have a scalloped border on the edges of it and we also have our little um, gosh where did my mind go <laughs> anyway here we go so that's what it's going to look like when it's all done I hope this and also um, PS I noticed over here if I went close up and for this video tutorial I'm not really going to correct it I obviously didn't line my lines up a little bit so I'd have these little bitty cut areas you could always ungroup this and delete these if you wanted to but um, I have to make these video tutorial so short so I don't have time to be really expert at it I hope this tutorial has helped you um, learn something new and have fun with your silhouette and your silhouette studio software have a great day bye